astrophotography on a real budget. I want to go over you with my setup that I purchased to get into this hobby. I love this hobby, by the way. It's just so peaceful. I can't explain it. It's really, it's really good for the soul that you just see the, the greatness of the universe. It's, it's unreal. This is my journey into astrophotography. Um, I'm not no pro. Heck, I'm not even an amateur yet. I'm just getting started and thought I'd share with you guys how, how I am doing it. The first thing I looked into was when I thought about getting this hobby was this the, the sure cost of this equipment can just skyrocket. A really good setup could cost you anywhere from five to $8,000. I learned how to crawl before I walk. And this is for you guys that's in the same situation. You want to get into it, but you know, I'm going to go over you with my setup, each piece, what I've done to get results that pleases me. That's the biggest thing. If you're happy with it, it doesn't matter what anybody else says. You're probably like me, you're not a professional. I'm not going to be selling my photos to NASA or, or online or anything like that. Maybe one day, but right now, no, that's not going to happen. So right now it's a hobby for me, and that's what I enjoy. The first piece of item that I got, basically all this was purchased off eBay, by the way. Um, the first piece that I, I bought from eBay was this telescope, which is a Subiny 90 millimeter. Um, it's a very nice scope. I paid $275 for it. Um, now keep in mind it does not come with eyepieces or the diagonal that goes in the back. It's just the bare scope for $275. It's 90 millimeter, 500 millimeter focal length. It's a F5. For me it was a very good starter scope. It still is. This is my main scope that I go to. When I take photos, this is the one I use. Because I took the advice of a lot of other people that a refractor is a lot easier to get into than a re reflecting telescope. It don't have to be collimated. It's just a lot easier to start with and a lot less forgiving. So that's my scope. My second piece is my what they call a Subani 60 millimeter guide scope that I use as a viewfinder to find what I want to be shooting. It's nothing to it, you just put an eyepiece right here and it's got a wide field of view. It's very nice. I think I paid, it was $82 for this one. So you need, you gotta have something to, it's like when you're going hunting, you gotta have your scope or your sight to see what you're gonna shoot. It's the same principle. So I had to have that. My next item was my mount. I kind of did a lot of study on the mount and I wanted something kind of nice and heavy but then again it don't break the budget because my budget was right out of thousand dollars that's all I wanted to spend to get in this hobby and take in mind now most all this is brand new equipment I'm going to show you one piece that I bought used but the mount is a Skyview Pro a good heavy mount was $2.99 and I say heavy, it's a good heavy mount. Pose under it nice and big and round. It's good and sturdy. Once you tighten this thing down, it's really there. The next piece that I had to have that I realized is when you're viewing and when you're taking photos, it's two different subjects. So it requires, when you're taking long exposures, it requires tracking. If you don't track it, you get these little aggravating star trails. Looks like lines. That's what I learned too. So anyway, so I had to get the tracking for it. So it tracks both motors that are mounted here and here, the right axis and declination. That's 169. Another thing I had to have is because when you go to take the photos, 
put your finger here just to do the shutter, it moves everything. No matter how careful you are, it's going to move. So you had to have a remote timer, which was $19 and something. The next thing I had to have is a way to mount a camera to the telescope. A lot of people say, aha, I got you there. Uh, yes, cameras can be expensive. I'm not going to lie to you. If you try to buy a new camera, you're going to spend a lot of money for one that's good. Luckily, I go on eBay, I find this Canon 850D for $80. I didn't modify it. I'm going to show you some pictures later, but I did not modify this camera. It was up to the body only for $80. Bucks. So I purchased that. In between the camera, where I can connect it to the scope, I had to have a 2 inch extension tube and a T-ring and a T-ring adapter. The extension tube, let me make sure it's 100%. The extension tube was $19. The T-ring and the adapter was $17. So that's what I've got in. This setup allow me to take photos of nebulas, of galaxies. I don't know about planets yet, I haven't tried it. But the nebula that I first started on was a Ryan nebula. It's awesome. When I looked through my regular telescope, all I could see looked like a little fog. But when you start taking long exposures with this DLSR, Man, it's amazing, really. It's, it's really amazing. So that's my setup. Overall, I got $1,000 in all new equipment except for the camera. That's the only piece of equipment that's not new is the camera. So can you do it? Yes. Can you do it for around $1,000?